Okay, so one of the most important parts of patina actually starts before you get into the patina itself, and that is cleaning. How important is it? It's like wicked important. Let me show you. See this piece? This was a, uh, a green patina, and you can see it took pretty nicely here, but look at the corners. Look at those edges. Nothing. And the reason is because there was some grease there. Now, it didn't look dirty. Um, you know, to the naked eye it looked fine, but there was some sort of finger oil or, or natural grease or whatever. Particularly frustrating for a patina like this because this might take two or three days to develop. So you spend all that time, you get it out, and you think, oh, it's great, it's beautiful, and then you look a little closer and you see these open spots. You don't want that to happen. And it's pretty easy to avoid. It's just a matter of cleaning things off. How clean? Very clean. When? Just before you get started. I mean minutes. Uh, you clean the metal when you're done with it. Maybe it's been pickled or washed or uh, neutralized in baking soda. It depends on what your style is and, and the nature of the piece. And so it's already been clean. But if it's been sitting aside, even like overnight, when I, before I start doing any patina work, I'm going to clean it. 